You do not have the love of God within you. The Lord says. But I know you. You do not have the love of God within you. This verse fits the end of the edition perfectly. I said the following to the Jews. In them lies the dead letter of the law. The works of the ceremony, the works of the shining, they meant more to them than the lively one himself who said such to them. That is why they were beaten with blindness and only saw a normal and ordinary human in the one who was alive and might only be marveled at a remarkable miracle, sometimes even at a wise word when they were around and managed to witness these things. And if they weren't around, they wouldn't believe it that I did these things or say these words and looked for every possible way to be suspicious about it. Whatever they couldn't reach with their naturalizing or denying, because of that, they thought of me as a possessed one who works for the devil through his power. Why did they not recognize the Lord of life, even though it was the will and intention of the Lord for them to recognize me? The reason for this lays in the text, which says, And the love is not within you. Why can one not recognize the Lord without the love? One cannot do so without the love for the same reason why a blind person cannot see what's around him, or why a deaf person cannot hear what his friend is saying. The love is the life. However, the life on its own can only see and hear for itself, because death is not able to do so. And so, the Jews could not recognize the Lord of life among them, because they did not have the life of love within them, which is a free life out of God. While every other life is only a judged one, and in comparison to the life of love, is death in its purest form. Whoever does not have a life of love is nothing but a vain machine, which only works and moves because of the activities of the world, while his sight, hearing and feeling is purely mechanical, and thus can never lift itself above the judged sphere of the judged limitations. Only the life of love is a truly independent one, and can therefore destroy all the barriers on its own so that it can swing way up above to the one who is its innermost reason and basis. Nobody can see what one has within oneself when he is in the natural sphere. How could someone see and recognize my being when he has nothing of it in his heart? That is why I say to you, let everything go, only keep the love so you will recognize what the Jews did not recognize and see what they could not see. There are many in this world who have no life within themselves. Therefore, they think the shadow is reality, even though he is nothing. Me, however, I, who am always among everybody, they do not see and recognize because they have no love. There are even people who search where there's nothing to find, but wherever there's life, being and shining, there they cannot see and recognize. These people still weigh the diamonds together with the pebbles in a weighing pan. But why the pebbles weight right next to the diamond? Why marvel at the rubbish from afar, all the while neglectfully passing by the gold in one's own house? It's not enough to only know the value of the gold. Instead, one must also learn to vividly respect the gold before the rubbish, even if it comes from afar. Only the ones who have the complete love can do so. But whoever swifts back and forth in between cannot do it and won't be able to for a long time. He will fare like the Jews, who were also not able to distinguish the Lord from a regular human. Therefore, I will tell you and thus remind you that I have given a lot, 
but only the ones that have love within them will recognize it as a pure gift from me. Whoever calculates in the love and counts what he does and what he gives, I will do the same to him. And the calculator will not be free, and the counter not legitimate before me, as long as he has not banned the calculating and counting from himself. So, the love must be free and should not get advice from the head for her inner activities. I will reward the wise donor with wisdom. But for the free donor of life, I myself am the reward. Everybody who is not active in the free love will not see the face of the Lord until he starts to do so. This I say, the eternally faithful, the true, the first and the last, as Father in all love, in complete consideration, to you.